What's up everybody, this is Super King from Lol Gameage, and I just wanted to do a quick uh, run through of the Elgato setup onto the PS3. So, here's the capture card, running from the back, uh, there's the component cable, uh, and then that comes into the AV in, oh, God, I don't think you can see that very well. Um, for the PS3 HDMI in stays empty and then you have HDMI out and then USB cable to your PC or Mac right at the back. The HDMI out will then go to the back of the TV. Right, once you've done that, you can download the Elgato software and once that's downloaded, it would say to connect your capture device to get started. So. What you do is on the PS3 go to system setting, oh sorry, display settings, video output settings, you want to change that to component D terminal. I have two um, HDMI's plugged in, so one will be from the Elgato and one's directly from the PS3. Component D terminal, change, and then I need to change my input to the next HDMI port. Whoops. Which is that. And also, you can see it come up there. You want to say yes. Now, obviously, depending on your TV settings now, 720. 1080, I don't do interlace because it just looks horrible. You'd rather have 720 progressive than 1080 interlaced. Uh, it would choose between each other. You get higher frames with 720 anyway. So continue that. And then, sure, you want to save, continue, set audio output, and have soundbar connected and turtle beaches with the optical cable I'll choose optical digital um, you can choose whichever connection you have I suppose I like to take these two and then that's fine so then what you want to do is in the sound settings you would want to go to audio multi out that will let the sound come through wherever, but it, when you're recording what you want to do is have the audio from the TV turned off or you, you know, pick up feedback. So, once you do that, you go to accessory settings and audio device settings, mic, max, input, your headset, and then to record your voice you want the system default device because that will just pick up the feed from the Elgato um, if you are not displaying anything on your PS3 or the Elgato is not picking up you might have to do uh, reset the audio, uh, the video settings of the PS3 by holding the power button uh, that will just reset everything and then you can start from there then back here the display will always be a little bit lagged on the uh, computer but it's fine it still picks up and even the quality is quite in HD it took me a while to set everything up but when I tried it on the Cohiba's um, system I just done it in about five minutes it's really quick so what I do is uh, you have everything here um, you can go through the settings and if you can see that yeah. you can just adjust the things how you like it. I think I noticed my videos are sometimes a little bit dark, so I'm going to put that up a notch. Yeah, about 10, let's say. And capture. That should be detected as PS3. Yeah, trying to focus this before the battery dies. Yeah. Right. Personally, I like to have it in 1080, even though it's lower frames. Uh, and I set it to the best. Then 
you got you know the picture audio uh, I just leave all these as default 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 and that should be fine how it is if you have some issues you can mess around with that um, wh what you also can do is I think if you let me try to do this with one hand right if you da 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 sorry if you oh, fuck's sake so ah oh, no if you hold control and click on the little tool bar icon just there uh, just down there in the corner where it says device um, it takes you to the advanced tab uh, where you can choose to update the firmware so if you have some issues check that it says no current no new firmware available so that's fine uh, the Agato will hold 30 minutes uh, backlogs so if you forgot to record something you know you still got like 30 minutes I set the game audio a bit lower and the live commentary a bit higher so when you're recording you want to turn on the live capture it will detect it and then you have the game audio there um, that will just be from the line in of your microphone uh, which is connected to your PC and if I just do a quick recording uh, so it's capturing everything and then you know, let me just do a little bit of you know just a tester just to show you how roughly everything goes and let's say we stop the recording there it will just upload the file process everything and then what you can do is when you click on edit uh, another thing I should say actually um, when recording the uh, my in chat volume I just have my headset around around my neck from my PC and use that mic to pick up my voice um, and then the tilt will be to just pick everything up I think what you can do is these this splitters will come with uh, the Elgato so you can connect the, all the audio things uh, to your Total Beaches or other headset uh, there's videos on that but I'm not too fussed so once it's done uploading and processing it will come up in your latest videos and what you can do from here send it straight to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all this and that and the editing is just really 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 good uh, in the settings, in the main settings you can just choose which formats to convert things like that The yeah, processing media, so here it is. This is the whole shebang. So, what you do is you know, you just play the video and then you can just cut it where you want. Let's say I want to cut all these bits out, you know, highlight the segment, delete, delete, going on, going on, yeah. And let's say I'm happy like that, delete the rest. And then you can send it where you want. I send it to Move Maker. It'll process it. And then it'll open up where you're sending it to. So that will open the program eventually. Probably not the best time to do a virus scan. But yeah. And then you can edit a few more things around here if you would like to or whichever editing program you have you can just use that straight up I mean the quality just comes out fantastically but on the Cohibas when I set out for him it came up a bit fuzzy I'm not sure why maybe it's the TV but yeah 
and then you can just export it you know uh, save movie you know YouTube HD you know no, I'm not going to do that right now and you can also upload directly to YouTube where you know you're given a number of options oh, you have to log in and things like that but um, then you can just you know enter your tags and title your video and just things like that so um, I hope that's uh, of a help to you uh, what I tried doing to capture the audio uh, without using anything extra was with the Turtle Beaches we have the Xbox in so what I've done was from my PC line I bought a 2.5 mil to 3.5 uh, jack put that into just an extension 3.5 mil into the back of the PC line in and then into the Xbox slot and what that did was it uh, captured my voice just through the turtle beaches and the gaming volume um, however there was for some reason you know just background interference it just sounded like a helicopter was hovering around no idea why but uh, for now I'll just stick with my PC headset around my neck and then just wearing the turtle beaches so I guess that's pretty much that's that's pretty much it really I mean just five minutes set up and you know job done um, I would recommend getting a better HD cable normally because well, you know the standard ones aren't really as good but I suppose they do the job but I just want to be sure um, so yeah uh, happy recording